Hello and welcome to episode one of Versus Four. It's Custom Profits competition. This is number four. It is much, much bigger than last time. Last time, as you know, it was myself, the Custom Profit, and that trucking football manager. And uh, I was fortunate enough to win the competition, so I'm effectively defending my crown. But uh, this time round, it's, oh, it's huge. I mean, we've got two groups. Group A, which includes Old Lady Plays, that trucking football manager, of course, and uh, Football Manager Maniac and Bobby G Gaming. Uh, group B, which I'm part of also includes the custom profits united city fm and chasing lamely so like i say the plan is the the winners of the two groups will go ahead into a second season to uh, decide the ultimate winner but uh, at the moment i've got to get out of group b so uh if you haven't already found out what this is all about custom profit has done an introduction video the link is in the description below go down and watch that now go on go away bye bye Go watch it now, and then come back and finish watching this. But that'll explain to you exactly what's going on, why we are with Juventus, or Zebra, as it says up there. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that will all be explained to you. But uh, as far as this episode goes, as far as my episode goes, first thing we're going to do is take a look at the tactics. Okay, so these are the tactics. It is, in fact, a mirror image of the 433 isometric that I'm actually using with my Oldham save, as you can see by the wonderful graphic. That's the old version next to it. It is literally a mirror image, um, just based on the players I have. Plus, one or two of those roles have changed as well. But uh, this is what I've been running through preseason with. Um, we'll meet the first team squad at the moment. You'll notice that Cellini is injured. Um, he is a long-term injury. Everybody has this problem, unfortunately. Um, see, in terms of his injury, he ha he's out for six to seven months. And he's already been out for two months, so he's he'll be back, but it'll be the end of the season, more or less. Um, you know, so in terms of not being able to count on him, um, at the moment, Sesney is also injured, but his isn't too bad. He's just got a groin strain. He's a waiting treatment that came out the last game. We, of course, have Buffon, Gianluigi Buffon as backup, um, should we need him, which hopefully we won't. But uh, beyond that, Alexandro left back, Benucci in centre of defence, Nacho who is actually one of my sign-ins um, as a right-back. He's actually playing inverted right-back there. Um, he's on loan from Real Madrid. We needed a bit of depth back there. He's only played two games in preseason and managed an average of 7.15, so he's done okay. But if you look at his star rating versus the rest of the team, he's not up to scratch, but hopefully he will do well enough. Obviously, we did also sign some central defenders too, and I say some. It was actually one technically, which is... Whom is, sorry, not on the bench. Yes, he is. There we go. It is Dijan Lovren. He's actually on loan from Liverpool. Um, and again, look at that star rating compared to the rest of the team. He, on the other hand, has only made one sub-appearance in preseason and managed a 6.60 rating. So, not ideal. But those are sort of the two key signings, as I mentioned before. But uh, in terms of who's already here up front, obviously we've got Higuain playing as an advanced forward, Dybala supporting him on as a deep line forward on support. We've got an inverted winger in the form of Cristiano Ronaldo on attack. Um, we've got Cuadrado playing out right wing on attack. Matuidi as box-to-box -box midfielder. Pjanic as deep line playmaker on support rather than defence, sitting in front of the back four. Sandro, we mentioned Cellini, Bonici, and Nacho with Cesny in goal. But like I say, that is the best 11 at the moment. If we just pick who's coming up next quickly, Delight will be in next to Bonucci, which is great for us, obviously. Um, so, in terms of the taxes, like I say, I'm actually, it's really just, a, 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 in terms of the uh, tactical style, it's really just a modified custom control possession. I haven't done anything from scratch. But again, I'm doing the same thing I'm doing at Oldham, and it's really working at Oldham. Bearing in mind that this is actually a competition, seems to be the thing to do. Now, I didn't start out with this formation, and I'm going to take you into the schedule now and actually show you the pre-season friendlies. I started out in the in the uh, uh, in the first match in the, of the pre-season against my under-23 team. So yeah, as you can see. <laughs> Against the end of 23s, I tried a 4-2-3-1, which I thought would be half decent. And uh, when it's your first game out as manager of Juventus, you don't really want to lose 1-0 to your under-23 team. So that was kind of scary. I'm not lying to you. Um, and then we went up away to Dynamo Kiev um, and again kept the same formation. And as you can see, 
it was a 1-1 draw. And to be honest with you, Dynamo Kiev was slightly better, I'd argue. I mean, we did have a bit of possession and maybe one more shot, but they had a one more shot on target. And anyway, like I say, up front didn't play well. Ronaldo didn't play well. Higuain didn't play well. It just was horrible. So that's when I uh, decided to pull in the Oldham tactic that had been working so well against Olympic Lyon. And we beat them 3-2. It was a decent, decent game. Again, Lyon uh, were a stronger side, if you will. They actually... Well, as you can see, 50 in possession. They were even with us in terms of shots on target. Um, but we made ours count. Um, Demerol scoring on the 12th minute, then Ronaldo on the 15th, and Matteo Brunori on the 79th. And I'm pretty sure that Ronaldo's was off a free kick. Let's see if we can have a quick look at that. Pjanic with the ball in. Onto the head of Ronaldo, and it is in. There's going to be a few like that this season, I think. So... Moving swiftly on, we then went, I added a couple of uh, friendly matches because I wanted to, we didn't have many and I wanted to test out, you know, using those tactics. So we invited Chelsea over and hammered them 6-2. Absolutely fantastic hat trick from Higuain. Higuain and uh, Rigani got one, Bentecourt got one and Marchi got one. And again, fairly even on the match stats, but we made our chances count. So I think that's really going to be key. Um, for us this season. Um, we went away to Atletico Madrid as well. And that was a 2-0 win. Um, again, pretty even though we did have better possession. But uh, yeah, we beat them 2-0. Which is a fantastic result. Admittedly, it's not the same as obviously playing them in the Champions League. It's just a pre-season friendly. But it gives me a little confidence. So after that, we had a 3-1 win over Lazio. Two from Ronaldo. One from Cuadrado. Quadrado, Quadrado. Um, and obviously one from only one from Lazio from Francesco Acerbi. So again, we, we we were pretty much on top of him in terms of shots and shots on target, but we did have slightly less possession. But nevertheless, we came away we came away 3-1 victors. Um after that, Benfica away, 3-0. Again, we just at this point we're fitting into the tactic nicely and we're playing well i mean look we just dominated benfica to be honest with you so at this point team cohesion is already picking up and then our final friendly of the season was against the mls all-stars and uh yeah we made light work at m2 5-1 very much dominant in terms of uh, shots and shots on target and we did have the better possession but as you can see we were just that little bit better. So, yeah, Zebra 5 or Juventus 5, MLS All Stars 1. So, that is pre season. As you can see, it was absolutely fantastic. I did show you briefly a couple of the transfers I've made. I've technically made three, I think, in total. Yeah, there we go. Um, the first one to come in was Nacho, who I already mentioned he's come on loan. The board aren't happy about how much we're paying. Um, Marcos Lorente, he came in on loan as well from uh, Atletico Madrid. And he's a defensive midfielder. But again, he's there for depth as much as anything else. Um, he's a backup, I suppose. And then we also brought in Dijan Lovren, as I mentioned before, from Liverpool on a loan. And again, board aren't really happy with what I'm paying for him either. But uh, we needed the depth. Um, like I say, they kind of looked better until I signed them versus the rest of the squad. Um, but as you can see, they're still decent enough players. So hopefully they will do a job for us. Um... And I think that's really all I need to show you in terms of tactics and all the rest of it. Our first game is against Sassuolo in the Serie A and we're away. One of the things I forgot to show you before we kicked off actually is me. Um, avoiding relegation. I was born in Italy. Um, taking the advice there from uh, that trucking football manager, of course, managed to match his nationality with uh, Brest when they did uh, versus two and obviously did the same again when we were in the Netherlands for versus three. So... Smart idea. I was born in Milan. I'm Italian and I'm Juventus manager. But uh, if we have a quick look at my attributes, um, this is how I've set it up. Obviously, National A license with professional footballers, regional level is what we went for. Um, Organised points thus, 20 level discipline, 20 man management, 20 motivating with only 9 determination. That was just left over. Determination would help me get stuff from the board, but yeah. These, I think, in terms of uh, my influence on the team are the most important. On the coaching side, I've just put attacking at 20. With hindsight, I wish I'd have put tactical at 20. But 
what is done is done. So that is me as the manager. And of course, the other thing to look at that's very, very important is the club vision. So far, with my uh, efforts in preseason, I'm up to a C plus. It's probably not great, to be fair, considering... Uh, well, anyway, we'll see how it goes on. But in terms of the club culture, sign players based in Italy is favoured. Sign players under the age of 20 for the future is favoured. Sign higher reputation players is desired and play entertainer football is favoured. So that's all pretty straightforward. Um, the five-year plan, obviously, we're only here for a season. So the ongoing stuff's important. Maintain the club's status as the most reputable team in Italy. Fair enough. Maintain the club's global reputation, again, and uh, work within the wage budget shouldn't be too much of an issue um in terms of what we need to achieve by the end of the current season we need to reach the final of the champions cup we also need to win the Serie A Serie Serie even it's one of those days it's Saturday morning um Italian cup win the Italian cup is favored but it's required for the champions cup and the uh winning the league and then obviously the super cup is not important so we're not being judged so yeah we're required to win the, the 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 league, and we're required to win required to win Champions Cup. So I guess if I fail either of those, and certainly if I fail both, then I'm not making it out. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to see how it goes. But uh, one thing that uh, was quite interesting to me, and it doesn't appear to be there anymore, and I don't know why. Um, when I first joined, it said within the uh, club culture that uh, set pieces were favoured. Um, and it doesn't say it anymore, which is a shame because, again, playing for set pieces has been my thing with Football Manager 2020, and that is how I've set up the team, and, of course, the training. I'm using my playing for set pieces training as well. So, I don't know where it disappeared to, but nevertheless, that is uh, obviously going to be a big part of how we score goals today. Uh, today, Well, this competition, especially based on how Ronaldo did. Um, being on the end of free kicks and corners during pre-season. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to make quite a big difference, to be honest with you. Okay, this time for Juventus away at Sassuolo. Um, Sassuolo going to be in the green with Zebra in the yellow tops today. But in goal is Buffon, a back four of Sandro, Benucci, Delight and Danilo. Defensive midfield, Pjanic. Central midfield, Ramsey. Right wing, Quadrado. Left wing, Cristiano Ronaldo. And up front is Higuain and Dybala. So we will see how things go in our first match. We are favourites, so uh, I am expecting a win. It says, uh, apparently my assistant manager says we should ask the team to do this for the fans. Let's try it. I'm expecting a performance from all of you. There we go, somebody's motivated. Who's that? Oh, we've got some motivated players. That's good. That's a good sign. Kick off. There we go. Forgot to go into full match. Oh my goodness, it's a free kick for Sassuolo. Boga to take it. Oh, it's cleared. Ferrari's on the ball. I do wonder if I should be slightly more cautious, which you wouldn't think being Juventus, but still, Ruggiero with the cross. Oh, throw in even with the cross too, but it comes to now. Okay, we're now playing cautiously. Danilo, Delight, Buffon, Bonucci. Bringing the ball forward now. Ronaldo puts it out for Quadrado, who's beaten to the ball. Boga on a count attack now for Sassuolo. Caputo. It's just... It's all them, isn't it? I wonder if I should be... Looking at maybe something like that. We are doing the play for set pieces thing, so looks like it's another throw in for Sassuolo at the Juve end. And then getting the cross in. Boga! Oh, it's just wide. Thanks to Buffon, but they've got a corner. This is not how I would like things to be. I'll not lie to you. We've not gotten out of our half yet, I don't think. Goodness gracious. They're just peppering us. Coming up to four minutes. Goal kick. Interfered with. Pianic. Delight. Danilo. 
Cuadrado with the ball forward. Find Seguane. Oh, and it's there. I thought that was going to come off the post and come out, but it didn't. Just clipped the post and went in. That's Gonzalo Higuain. That's his first goal of the season. And our first goal of the competition. Cuadrado getting past his man, puts the ball forward. Higuain makes the run. And uh, keeper got a hand to it, but not enough to send it wide, unfortunately. But that's 1 0. Sassuolo kickoff. Ferrari on the ball. Ball forward. Ronaldo gets on it. Ronaldo now trying to put a ball forward. Tolzian. Traore. Come on, boys. Somebody close down Boga. Oh. Traore again. They're all over us, Sassuolo. It's no question. Hi, Vey. Um, it's going to just drop that down a little bit and suggest we be more expressive given who we have in the team. I just don't like that we are I'm just going to let you do what you want, mate. There we go. Well, it's out for a throw-in. I was a bit quiet there. Um, we're still on full match, aren't we? I'm going to go to key highlights. We are 1-0 up, but... Sassuolo looks stronger than us. Buffon with a goal kick. Delight. Ball forward. Quadrado again. Dispossessed by Ruggiero. Traore. Locatelli, Ruggiero, Sassuolo doing a good job here. Sandro with the clearance. Now Ronaldo looking to create something. Higuain again. Ronaldo in support of him. Cuts in. And it's there. Lovely goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. This is his first one of the season. And a boom. Again, all of these goals are against the run of play as far as I'm concerned. It's good that we can uh, take advantage of our chances, but... It's not great, is it? Lovely work from Ronaldo. He fancied a goal. Cuts in. Outside of the box. Boom. Keeper could not touch it. Well, we're 2-0 up. We're only 10 minutes in. I'd say that bodes well. But anything can happen in the next 80 minutes. 70-odd minutes, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Corner. Pjanic. Oh, onto the head of Ronaldo. But it is a goal kick. Throw in now for Sassuolo. Oh, try to get a corner in. Dybala's on the ball, but very slow for some reason. Cuts in. Ramsey's in front of him. Oh. Quadrado needs to uh, ease off tackles, I would suggest. And I really don't want him uh, getting sent off. Well, looks like we had to go there while I was busy mugging around with the tactics. Ruggiero on the counter-attack for Sassuolo. Quadra... Oh, never mind. I can never say his name quick enough. I'll get used to it. Danilo. Pjanic. Danilo again. Come on, boys. Let's get this ball forward. I don't want them getting back in the game. We're only 20 minutes in. Ramsey. Ball out. Ronaldo cutting in. Oh, little one for Higuain. And there we go. It's 3-0. Gonzalo Higuain. Lovely goal. Bonucci with the ball forward. Ronaldo gets on the end of it. Just runs past his man. Not giving a heck. Ball through. And Higuain tucks it home. That's a lovely, 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 lovely goal. Very happy with that. With 3-0 up. And it's not even 22 minutes. Yes, I am happy with my tactical changes. As you can see, they've had the better possession. Um, and they were having... The better of things up until we scored. Um, they seem to be dropping off a bit now, which is great for us. Let's get creative, boys. Higuain wants a hat trick. Ronaldo wants two more. 42 minutes. 
They're complacent now, apparently. Demand more. Okay. Well, it's half time. Nil, uh, sorry. Sassuolo, nil. Zebra, three. So, yes. That's not bad. Very happy with that, to be honest with you. I don't know if there's anything we need to say other than whatever he said. Um, any person who's struggling a wee bit is Ramsey. I know he's not quite match fit. So that might be why, but... Uh, here we go. Starting the second half. Let's get creative. Yeah, too many complacencies. I mean, I know we're 3 0 up. Oh, Dybala with a free kick. Into the box. Benucci, Ronaldo tries to get on the end. Dybala a little bit hesitant there in picking up the ball. He could have gotten to that. But he didn't. Ruggiero on the ball for Sassuolo. Oh, my goodness. Sandro tried to clear it, but Traore hit it on the volley, and it is now 3 1. So, coming up 50, just gone 55 minutes. Ruggiero on the ball keeps it in. I thought that was going out. Boga. Lovely cross in. Sandro tries to clear it, but Traore says, I'm having that. And sure enough, he did. Hamid Jr. Traore. All right, we've seen enough, mate. Show some passion, will you, Juventus? I mean, if it stays 3-1, I'm not unhappy with that, obviously, but... Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind another goal. Let's demand a bit more. Um, anybody looking particularly knackered? Not particularly. People are doing all right. Throw in. Danilo. Dybala. Danilo again. Tries to put it into the middle, but uh, Traore gets a hand on it. Ronaldo. Finds Higuain. Higuain holding up the ball. Pianic now. Delight. With the pass back, Buffon. Back to Bonucci. Back to Ramsey. Out wide to Sandro. Sandro coming up on the left side. Ball for Ronaldo. Tries to cross. And he gets it. Higuain gets his third goal of the season and of the game. And it is now Sassuolo 1, Juventus 4. I'm going to confuse you because I'm going to say Juventus and Zebra. I'm going to interchange them whenever it suits me. Apparently. So, sorry about that. But they are the same team. You get the idea. But lovely work from Ronaldo. To get that ball to Higuain. And, of course, he stuck it away. So, 76 minutes gone. Um, apparently, Sandro is now uninterested. 83 minutes. Buffon with a goal kick. Pjanic. Bonucci with a ball forward. Ronaldo. Dybala. He wanted a goal. It's now 5-1. Paolo Dybala. It's his first goal of the season. Assisted by Cristiano Ronaldo. Sassuolo 1. Zebra 5. Told you I'd interchange them. I'm going to try and say Juventus from now onwards. But we'll see how it goes. But look at that. Lovely ball forward for Dybala. And that was a tight one. But he got it in. Lovely. So yeah, quite happy with that. I'm not going to say I'm going to sit back, but I don't need to uh, check any more shouts out, I don't think. Three minutes added time. There we have it. Sassuolo 1, Juventus 5, Higuain hat-trick, and one from Ronaldo and Dybala 2. So, what can I say? I am... I think that was a nice victory. Well done. Okay, you're going to come back for a very quick review, and as you can see, we are top, having played one game, and in fact, us and Sassuolo are the only teams to have actually played thus far, so uh, look at all that. We got the highest goal scorers, all three of them. We got the best average rating, and then we got the most assists thus far, as well as player of the matches. You know, that, like I say, nobody else has played. That's as good as it's going to get. No, I'm kidding. It's going to be better. We're going to finish in that. In fact, we're going to hold on to that spot all season. We're going to win the Champions League, we're going to win the competition, we're going to be in round two. But seriously, everybody else who is in this competition has released a video at this point. Um, you've probably already seen some before you come here. All of the links to all of them, Group A and Group B, are in the description below. Please do check them out. Give them a thumbs up and uh, watch the videos. It'll be also going to be a uh, 
video from Custom Profit, which will be sort of a review and look at results, how everybody's doing, which will come out at a later date. He will announce that, of course, if you're not following him already. What are you doing? Go follow him. Um, and I think that's really all I need to tell you. Like I say, all the links are down below from you know what this competition is about plus all of the first episodes from uh, the other players there are a couple of uh, people who did produce episode zeros um, I have tweeted about that you should be able to find them yourself but it's just really giving a sort of a preview of tactics and training and stuff like that which I just included in my first episode one but uh, anyway it's going to be a long and grueling competition. I'm very excited, very excited to be a part of it. Once again, thank you, Custom Profit, for setting all of this up. And uh, obviously, thanks to everybody else who's involved. It's, like I say, it's going to be fun. This is week one. And uh, it is a big challenge. So uh, we'll see how we get on. But in the meantime, I'm avoiding relegation. This has been Versus 4. Thank you very much for watching.